When it comes to dealing with two objects, we're going to require two equations of motion. So we have a car and a truck that are moving toward each other, and they're initially separated by some distance. So we have dA, its position is going to be 15 meters per second times time, and dB is going to be negative 12 meters per second times time plus 54 meters. We can consider the graphical interpretation of this, and so if we consider our position time graph, what's going to happen is if we look at A, A is going to be a straight line starting at the origin, and it's going to have a positive slope. B, on the other hand, is going to start at some positive position, and it's going to have a negative slope, and where they intersect gives us the time and the position where they meet. In order to deal with this algebraically, what we're going to do is we're going to set those two positions equal. So we have dA is equal to dB. We write down our two equations, and so we have is 15 meters per second times time equals negative 12 meters per second times time plus 54 meters. At this point, we're left with some straightforward algebra. We combine our terms. And what we're able to do is we're able to isolate for time. And so time is going to be 54 meters divided by 27 meters per second, or 2 seconds. So we can now check. If we go back, what we're going to find is we can check what dA is equal to. So dA is 15 meters per second times time. So 15 meters per second times 2 seconds, of course, is going to give us 30 meters. It's imperative that dB give us the same thing. If it doesn't, what has happened is we've been inconsistent. So we recall that dB is negative 12 meters per second times time plus 54 meters. Again, we put in our time, 2 seconds. And when we solve everything, we find that we also end up with 30, more, 30 meters. And so therefore, we have our necessary condition, dA, is equal to dB.